Introducing the Open Palm Podcast with host Jerome Shaw, available today on your favorite podcast platforms. The Open Palm Podcast is a positive, uplifting, motivational, and inspirational podcast. The host brings his insight and philosophy, and you can't help but gravitate towards his smile, his words, and his wisdom. Again, the podcast he hosts is titled The Open Palm Podcast. It's about inspirational messages, motivating themes, and thought-provoking ideas and topics. He'll also help you become more aware and in harmony with your own life, giving you a better understanding of your place in the world and using your skills accordingly, greeting the world with an open palm instead of a closed fist. You can find the show today on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and more. You can also connect with the host on Instagram at jromeshaw. That's J-R-O-M-E-S-H-A-W on Instagram. Jerome Shaw with the Open Palm Podcast. Motivation, meditation, mentality. Go listen, download, and subscribe today. These days, I've been learning more and more about the subconscious mind, how to work it, how to program it, how to deprogram it, how to reprogram it. And what I'm finding out is that the conscious mind commands, but the subconscious mind obeys. That's just it. The conscious mind commands, the subconscious mind obeys. It doesn't discriminate. It doesn't judge. It has no notion or compunction of what's right or what's wrong. And it never says no. It says yes to whatever you tell it. The subconscious mind is like the genie in the lamp. It grants your wishes. It is like the algorithm. Its only job is to act out its programming. Its only function is to make sure that you fulfill your programming. Whatever you put in is what will come out. Everything you speak, everything you hear, Everything you see, everything you think, what goes in is what comes out. What you envision will be what you find in your outer reality. So my friend, when we understand truly the power of a thought, we might never want to have a negative thought again understanding that we will find ourselves caught in a cycle again and again and again acting out our programming through no fault of its own it's just being a good servant you know they say that the mind is a wonderful servant but a terrible master are you the master of your mind Or is your mind mastering you? I had to ask myself this question. Am I a slave to my own subconscious mind? Am I being guided? Am I being pushed and pulled towards an undesirable outcome? And is it my responsibility to change? I came to the conclusion that it is. There was no one else to blame. I realized that it was up to me to do everything in my power to deconstruct and reconstruct my identity, my subconscious mind, my values. You have the ability, you have the opportunity, and you have all the capacity to succeed in your life. Whatever your definition of success is, you can achieve it. You can receive it. But you got to believe it, my friend. Because if you don't believe it, you won't receive it. And how can you ever achieve something that you don't even believe? 
So take time to talk to yourself. Walk with yourself. Think for yourself. Visualize. Meditate. Really reflect and get clear about what it is that you want in this life. What it is that you desire in this realm. What it is that you would give up to gain. What it is. Just be clear on what you want and continue to be clear. Have conviction, have certainty, and you will take care of the rest. When I say you, I mean that automatic system, your subconscious mind. It will guide you to the resources, to the events, to the people that you need to speak to, that you need to meet, that need to meet you. It will be like the reticular activating system. When you think about your dream car, all of a sudden you see it everywhere. It's like, is everybody driving this thing? But no, it's just your mind. When you think about your favorite numbers and you start to see them popping up, your mind notices. So, they say that the subconscious mind is at the root level, but the conscious mind is at the branch level, the fruit level. In order to change the fruit, we got to change the root. By the time you have done something or completed an action, it has already gone through your subconscious mind. It is so much more powerful than the conscious. It governs everything that we do, everything that we say, all the actions that we take. It's also governing the body, all the functions of the body, your heart pumping, your lungs breathing, the blood running through your left big toe. That's all being done automatically. And isn't it a blessing that you don't have to worry about consciously thinking about making your blood pump into your left big toe? Your subconscious mind has got your back. But the thing is, it never sleeps. It doesn't take a break. It doesn't go on vacation. It is always on. So be careful, my friend, what you think. Be careful what you speak. Be careful who you listen to. Be careful. Be conscious with intention. And you will find in time that all your dreams are right there for you waiting. Whatever you're seeking is seeking you. And you will guide yourself to it. Thank you for listening, my friend. This has been Jerome Shaw on T.O.P., the Open Palm Podcast here in San Antonio, Texas. I pray you received an encouraging message about your subconscious mind, letting you know that it truly is in your hands. Whatever you wish, your wish is its command. Share this episode with someone who needs to hear it. And if this is your first time receiving this podcast, subscribe for more inspirational messages like this. If you'd like to support, consider opening your browser to anchor.fm slash jshaw. Clicking the support button there is much appreciated. Big shout out and thank you to all the wonderful supporters who contribute to the podcast, making it possible for episodes like this. Have a wonderful and blessed day or night, wherever you are, my friend. And as always... Take care.